Hi, I'm Evelyn Haddon, and I wrote Beautiful No Mow Yards to show you that you have a lot of alternatives to that boring, lifeless lawn. For instance, Marta planted a different ground cover under each of her trees, and Tom and Karen dine outdoors all summer with a lively prairie garden as the floor show. Jay fills his woodland garden with nonstop color, and these showy natives bloom under Michelle's mature maple trees. Lisa replaced her whole back lawn with a pond. Julie's family built a patio for pennies. Roy and Rosadelia grow food in this elegant front yard, and Leroy battles night crawlers in the garden his grandparents started. Ann and Rogers' low care lawn uses half the water of standard turf grass, while Peggy only mows hers once a year. You may mow to give your kids a play area, but for healthy brains and bodies, they need to climb, to make their own dens, and to interact with plants and animals. So how can you get one of these beautiful no-mow yards? Part 2 will help you convert your lawn to topsoil, add life to your design, and make sure that Mother Nature does more of the work than you do. I'll introduce some choice ground layer plants with clues to their behavior to help you cite and combine them successfully. So get inspired, get educated, get a life, outdoors that is, and remember, less lawn is more fun.